If you've had a break from training in the gym, you probably can't wait to get back to lifting again. The feel of the weight. Pushing yourself to the limit. The pump you get. And a return to the gains you might have lost during time off. But going back hard and heavy can cause problems, like injuries. And may not deliver the gains you're looking for. In this video, we'll show you our recommended program for getting back to the gym safely with maximum effect. You'll need a properly structured plan, week by week, for about a month. But the good news is, you won't be starting over as if you're a newbie lifter. Instead, you'll be making the most of muscle memory to help you get back to where you were. Muscle memory is partly about your body remembering the correct movements. But it's also been proven that even after losing muscle, key cells stick around, ready to fire up the muscle again to stimulate growth. This makes it easier to rebuild lost muscle than it is to create new muscle. That's the good news. Bad news is, if you go back straight away to lifting your max weight, repping out like crazy, you're going to get injuries, which will set you back even further. Instead, you need a comeback plan. And here's what we recommend. Stage 1 is all about avoiding injuries. Here, it's more important than ever to stretch, both before and after working the muscles. But don't start doing exercises that hit the muscle while it's highly stretched, like split squats. That'll leave you really sore. Not good. Instead, start with machines that let you control the weight more. You're weaker now than you were before, so don't try to pick up where you left off. Start with lighter weights, just to get some blood into the muscle. Where you'd normally do three sets, start with two. While your muscles are getting used to the weights, repping out and going to failure is a no-no. You're not trying to shock the muscle or break down muscle fibers. Not yet, anyway. You're just taking it steady. Don't overdo it. Have a plan. For stage one, aim for at least two sessions on the machines for each body part. With 48 hours rest for each muscle group, it's going to be at least a week to 10 days till you're ready to move on. Now that you've got the muscle used to working again, as long as you're free of injuries, it's time to get back to the free weights. With compound movements, concentrate on good form. Muscle memory is helping you, but take the time to remind your body about correct form before you go back to heavier weight. Keep a record of the weight you're using and add more gradually each workout. And for the moment, avoid things like drop sets and supersets. Same with isolation movements. Start low, get used to the squeeze, then add weight slowly. With steady progress like this, after four weeks, you're back and ready to grow again. Let the gains begin. Now you can gradually get back to your normal routine. Adding weight. Going to failure. And mixing it up with drop sets and supersets. All the expert trainers in this video have full workouts for you to follow here on Fit Media Channel. Like our 10 best muscle building exercises, 
As you continue your journey, Fit Media Channel is here to inspire you and guide you with great workouts to follow, no matter what your goals.